So as a small business, it certainly often feels like big business has all the advantages. Scale, they've got economies of scale that we could only dream of. They often have a position in the marketplace which is just unachievable for us. They might even be a household name. And their resources seem almost limitless in terms of the quantity of staff, maybe offices they have around the world, and certainly in terms of their marketing resources. But there are a few areas that we, as a small business or a micro business, actually do have some advantages. And in this video, we're going to talk about one of those, which I think is possibly the biggest advantage that we have as a small business. And it's an advantage that every big business wishes they had and can't achieve. So as a small business, it's incredibly tempting to try and portray that we're much bigger than we really are. And I've definitely made that error and mistake in the past. I've seen hundreds of other businesses making a similar mistake. Maybe you're embarrassed by how small you are. You don't want to really admit you know, how few clients you've got, how few staff you have. Maybe you're a one man band or one woman band. And if you are, that's okay. It really is. A staggering 88.1% of all American businesses, and I therefore assume it's a similar ratio in many other countries, have 20 or less staff. 88.1%. So we are definitely not alone and it's okay to be small. So the one big thing that every big business wishes they could do but can't is deliver a personal service. Take banks for example. They would like nothing more than every time you phoned up to actually have the same, the very same receptionist answer your call. Maybe they even knew you by name, they could relate to you. Of course, that would deliver a far superior experience to you, the customer. But just because of their size and scale, it's just impossible, infeasible for them to be able to deliver that. So let's take a look at HSBC, for example. Known, their slogan, as you probably remember, is the world's local bank. They are trying so hard, so desperate to look local. Now they spend nearly four or around $400 million a year on advertising. So clearly they have spent a huge amount of money, time and resources and effort and energy into this. And what they've concluded is that the most important thing for their customers is to experience a local personal service. Even though that's something they inherently can't really deliver upon, they think it's so important they're going to make that the absolute bedrock of all their advertising communications. So they've decided not to use the same adverts for every country around the world. They actually use local different adverts for not just every country, every city. Think how phenomenally more expensive that must have been for them to achieve. And it's that important to them, it was worth them doing it. So are you taking advantage of your advantage? Or are you using messages, websites, branding, and other material that's trying to convey something that perhaps you're not? And it's something that conveys to the customer that they're not going to get a personal service, a service that actually as a small business, you are very well placed to provide. And it's something that most customers deeply desire. So I like to think of this battle, if you will, as like a wrestling or boxing fight. Imagine you're in the ring and opposite you is this 400 pound huge sumo wrestler. Now what you wouldn't do is stand in the middle of that ring. I never understood why it's called a ring when it's clearly square, but anyway. You wouldn't, what you wouldn't do is stand in the middle of that ring, taking blows, pretending you're bigger than you are because the sumo wrestler's gonna land a blow, you're gonna get knocked out or die pretty quickly. What you would do is use your assets and your assets are your speed, your flexibility, your maneuverability. And you'd run around landing blows and hopefully eventually you'd land enough blows you could actually win the fight. And yes, in this example, the smaller fighter really did win this fight. So if you are a small business that's trying to portray that you're much bigger than you really are, then be careful because what could happen is you are actually having the worst of both worlds. You're portraying that you're not able to deliver a personal service 
but you don't have the economies of scale that a really truly big business can provide. So back to my original question, are you taking advantage of your advantage? Are you portraying that you can deliver a personal service? Because that is, for many customers, one of the most important things in their decision to buy from you. So if you're the manager, owner or founder of a small business, maybe you've got 30 staff or less and you're looking to grow, then subscribe to this channel for more growth design techniques.